Hello everyone, my name is Clint Bowen. I'm a technical consulting engineer for the data center ACI team here at Cisco. In this video, I will go over the requirements to configure layer two multicast in ACI. It is expected that you already have configured the fabric access policies for the multicast server and client host connectivity, along with EPGs, bridge domain, and VRF for the multicast receiver and source. Here is the topology that we'll be using for today's video. Leave 201 has both the multicast source and receiver connected to it, and we're using iPerf to simulate the multicast traffic. For L2 multicast configuration in ACI, we need to enable the IGMP querier. The idea here is that the first hop router in the multicast flow is going to send a query to check if the receivers want this particular traffic. The IGMP querier must be enabled in two places, under the bridge domain subnet and also under the IGMP snooping policy. It is important to note that it is required to configure the IGMP querier IP under the bridge domain subnet. Otherwise, the leaf switch will not send the IGMP query to the multicast receiver. In this example, since we're talking about ACI L2 multicast configuration, ACI will be serving as the IGMP querier. To create a new IGMP snooping policy, click on your user tenant, policies, protocols, and then right click on IGMP snoop. You will then be prompted to create an IGMP snoop policy. Here we can name our policy and mark enable querier checkbox. For this video, we'll be using version two. Version three supports source specific multicast, which is out of the scope of this video. Then click submit. In order to attach the new IGMP snoop policy to the bridge domain, choose your user tenant, networking, bridge domain, and choose the new IGMP snoop policy from the IGMP snoop policy dropdown list. Click submit in order to apply these changes. Next, we need to mark the querier IP under our bridge domain subnet. Please click on your user tenant, networking, bridge domain, subnet, and under the subnet policy tab, please mark the IP querier box and then submit. Now we can verify in the CLI. Here, we are looking up the EP learn for the receiver in order to map this traffic back to the proper bridge domain VLAN so we can look at our IGMP snooping group. We care about the bridge domain VLAN because the bridge domain is the layer two boundary in ACI. So it will also be the scope within which multicast traffic is flooded. We will take the VLAN ID and use it in the next command, show system internal EPM VLAN 86. This will show us our bridge domain VLAN. We can then use the command show IP IGMP snooping VLAN 90 to check that our IGMP snooping is enabled, that we have an IGMP querier, and we are using version 2. The last thing to check is for our multicast group with show IP IGMP snooping groups VLAN 90. We can see our multicast group is there. This completes the verification portion of the video. One thing to note is if you know this bridge domain is purely used for layer two multicast, make sure PIM is disabled as it can cause issues with TTL. If you enable PIM for layer two multicast, bridge domain traffic between leaves will be forwarded in the VRF GIPO. Multicast traffic will be routed across the fabric, so the TTL will be decremented by two. This completes the layer two multicast configuration in ACI. Thank you for watching.